Hi everybody, welcome to Sibelius 7 tutorial here at educator.com. Definitions and what's new in Sibelius. In this lesson we will speak about basics of the notation program Sibelius edition 7. We will define the program talking about its usage. We'll go over the installation process step by step as well as cover some of the newest features on the current version of the program. Sibelius has undergone a radical transformation of its user interface for Sibelius 7. The new interface is more efficient for use on a single display system such as a notebook or laptop computer or fixed display system like an iMac or all-in-one computers makes use of the modern single document interface and introduce a new tab document window and tab document view furthermore Sibelius old menus and toolbars have been replaced with a new tabbed toolbar known as a ribbon allowing the program's features to be grouped in the interface more logically, helping both new and existing users alike make more efficient use of the program. On Macintosh system, a basic set of top-level menus is still present. As you can see here, uh, I still have up here Sibelius file edit window and help menu bars but if you're running uh, Sibelius 7 in Windows systems you won't see any uh, menu bars uh, up at the top of the uh, at the top of your screen only thing you would see uh, on the Windows system is a quick access which gives you a couple of uh, options of saving redoing, undoing, and uh, a couple of little bit uh, minimizing options and restoring and those kind of resizing, those kind of things. But on uh, Macintosh system, we still have the file, edit, window, and help. As well, we can still go to, uh, we can still go and access uh, preferences and services, couple of other options under the uh, Sibelius tab, a uh, Sibelius menu bar. But other than that, all of the features are going to go under ribbon, which is this part that you see up uh, on your uh, scoring s screen or view. Sibelius, what is Sibelius? Sibelius is a score writing program created by Sibelius Software, which is now part of Avid Technology. As of today, the Sibelius software is the most widely used notation software in the world over hundreds of countries, including most colleges and universities in the US, Canada, Australia, Europe, and more. Sibelius claims to be the world's best-selling notation software among composers, arrangers, performers, music publishers, teachers, and students. The program gets its name from one of the most known late-period romantic composers, John Sibelius from Finland. The two twin brothers, Ben and Jonathan Finn, who wrote the very first version of the software, named their software and the company Sibelius because the Finnish composer Jean Sibelius was their favorite composer. That's the uh, history and little history and where it got its name, Sibelius. Sibelius also composed the national anthem for Finland. By the way, that's a little uh, information there. Uh, about installation. If you are new to Sibelius software and installing the program the first time, 
here are the steps could help you getting your Sibelius 7 installed to your computer properly. First, you should insert Sibelius 7 installer CD and choose the preferred language under Install Disk Menu. After selecting the language, you need to choose Install Sibelius 7 at the top of the menu choices to start your installation. You can simply follow the directions to complete installing the program. When the installation completed, you need to also install Sibelius 7 sounds. Sibelius 7 sounds come with a total of three content disks in addition to your Sibelius 7 installer disks in its package. You can click on Install Sibelius 7 Sounds and insert the very first content disk and then follow instructions along and insert, and insert the second and finally the third CD to complete all the installation when instructed. This may take some time to complete as Sibelius 7 comes with large library of sounds. That's definitely one huge upgrade also. The sounds uh, really, really good on Sibelius 7 if you're writing an orchestral score and if you wanted to play back uh, what you're working on, what you're writing on, it gives you uh, a really a realistic type of sounds that you could expect from a notation uh, software. It's really good. And the last thing that we can talk about is uh, that you also need to install all the other ads on features such as photo score light, audio score light and scorch from uh, your installer disk. These are once you ins insert once you insert your installer CD uh, you will see these options basically photo score light, audio score light and uh, scorch. They are all in your installer disk. What's new in Sibelius 7? Sibelius 7 first of all features a brand new task-oriented user interface. The ribbon, which we'll be talking about a lot up here, holds the menu tabs instead of the drop-down menu buttons. As you see, most of the uh, editing that we writing and editing our scores we need to go up in the ribbon and it's going to make it easier for for us to uh, write and edit our scores we'll get into that there's a new sound library as we just spoke features amazing sounds very close to the real sounds which is making a big deal actually listening back our scores Sibelius 7 now has a very powerful text features. All the text uh, features have been uh, improved a lot. Then uh, there's full music, XML import and export supports. It's one improvement. Also uh, Sibelius 7 uh, features of, have features of music scanning software by Photoscore Lite and input music via microphone through audio score light. So these two um, features come with the uh, Sibelius 7 software. Basically, um, photo score light will let you scan scores and be able to continue working on Sibelius and the audio score light will give you an option of recording audio uh, and directly be able to notate from there. You can use microphones, built-in mics. So it's it's pretty it's pretty cool future. We're gonna talk about since there's a huge change with the uh, menus and toolbar, toolbar and menu. I call this section. All the toolbar, menu buttons, and Sibelius Seven, as we mentioned, up in the ribbon. And when we look at the ribbon, it's uh, definitely uh, Microsoft Office application-like tab options uh, in the ribbon that we can see. 
So basically, if you're already familiar with some of the latest Microsoft applications, uh, Microsoft Office applications, uh, the feel of ribbon is kind of like that. Uh, and it makes it easier as the notation sometimes gets complicated with especially the people working with the deadlines or arrangers so that may be very helpful to uh, to be able to access so in the ribbon every feature of the program has been organized in 10 tabs plus a special final tab that's what we see here up in the ribbon we have file and 10 more we can go and choose by clicking on those just like we could choose a drop down uh, menu uh, menu bars now we have the tabs up here and those tabs organize under certain groups and additional options and additional tabs under under this new look we're going to just go and s click on the file to talk about the file tab a little bit here. That's the only one, uh, basically. Uh, it's color differently. It's a purple color. And one other thing is we can select uh, by just clicking on. If you have a uh, scrolling ring in your mouse, I use one of those. You can also go one by one by just like turning it right or left. So this is another way to go to the uh, right or left and choose your uh, tabs basically here. If we go to this file tab, uh, first thing it opens to us is the info. So score info dialog is now under info page in this file tab. So when we go there, we will see the info for the full score or since there are different parts on the song you could just choose one of these parts I'm gonna let that stay with the full score at the moment and all the other information related to sto score such as title part name and composer lyricist arranger publisher if you go down here what instruments uh, being used copyright information just below that uh, there are additional information year of composition and if you go to the right side uh, you can either see the preview of the score and you can read some additional information such as date of creation date last modified number of pages of the whole score you can click that preview to go back to your score or if you were there uh, escape will always get you out of the file tab and you go back to your score view um, if we go back to the file tab again what it has basically the basic very fundamental uh, features like saving saving as up there you can create the new score you can access to the new score there uh, you can open and close you can look at your recent scores what you worked on re recent documents you can print directly from there and there is another feature actually talking about printing uh, of course, we will be uh, covering these uh, in detail on later on course. But one thing that we can also do with Sibelius 7 is uh, we can now uh, print our scores in, on both sides of the paper. So that's actually one new uh, feature. We can export in various of different file formats such as audio, PDF, you can do music XML and MIDI and uh, these are under export here in the file tab then if we go to if we go down here teaching page contains couple of uh, 
options here, Worksheet Creator. It lets you choose from over 1700 ready-made worksheets, projects, exercises, and repertoire pieces, and more. You can read about that. These are pretty self-explanatory. You have an access for Add Worksheet and Edit Worksheets. These are all under teaching. And if you go to the help page, it contains uh, documentations, tools, and support. There are cool options under documentation. You have Sibelius 7 uh, reference guide at the top. These are basically the PDF files that you could open and read. Then you have Sibelius 7 tutorials and what's new. Um, you may even get uh, notifications of uh, the latest addition to the software. Uh, under tools you have your preferences to customize language display or other program settings. Down there it will be check for updates. You can always go here under the help to check for your ups, updates. And the last thing down here is the online support. You could easily search online knowledge base, get help from other users in forums and find options for assisted technical support. And on the right hand side there is a deactivating option but product should be activated of course uh, Sibelius 7 so we can work with it. And the final note again uh, to be able to get out of the file we should escape. Uh, escape is becoming an important key that I am sure I'll be repeating that time to time. Also once we start entering notes and editing notes uh, it's going to be very important working with a future called keypad to key in note we need to always make sure if our mouse loaded or not you will be introduced to that if you're new to the program if you're using for a while uh, this is something uh, you may already know but uh, escaping out is going to be uh, one of our friends basically in Sibelius because uh, in between the task we need to load the mouse and the way to get out of that function is going to be the escape key. Um, the final uh, note that I could give here, uh, finally the Sibelius 7 is fully 64-bit application meaning takes advantage of all the memory you have in your computer. Thanks for watching educator.com